Hello everyone, welcome back to Doing It Easy channel. Um, last lesson, in the last lesson, we created this brand name in Zelimon where we got a relationship of uh, the brand's brand ID uh, in items table. You can see there's only the brand's brand ID. But we got the relationship, brand's brand, and we got into the brand name value in and displayed in our grid. Now, as you, uh, I think you must have noticed before, each column is column here, the items, the item name, the cost, the selling, all these columns can be searched. But the brand name cannot be searched. As you can see, there is no input field to enter any values. So, today what we are going to do is, we are going to uh, create, uh, change the grid and the search function, model search at the function, uh, in, order to, in order to give this ability to search this column. So to do, to do that first, we have to change the grid view. Go into the item master module, item master module, and the views items and views. Okay, you got it here. And this is what we did in the last lesson. Now, to get the input field, we have to pass an array and give it a name. is the name of the column of this model which is brand brand id okay. and next we have to pass in a value uh, value you can pass a function and you can pass in a parameter data now this parameter consists the active records with all the data for this row for a particular row okay so what we do is echo the data and the name of the relationship which is brands brand and brand name column okay save and let's see yeah, right here. Now we can. Now we have an input field over here. Now here this has to be brands brand, not brands brand, but brand name. Let's remove this first. We don't want this anymore. So it will look like this. Now we have to change the header name brands brand. To do that, go to the model and the model item model and change brand change the attribute label okay yeah, change that okay now now let's now since we have two items let's search for doing see no results found okay something is wrong let's first find out what are the what are the values being passed by the ages request so i'll open up my firebug and I'll refresh again. Now let's get this down over here. Okay. Now let's search today. Now let's look at the parameters that are being passed. Okay, see items, brands, brand ID is passing DOI, which is what I searched here. Okay, those are the parameters. Now we have to change the search function. Mm, let's go into the items model and search function. Now, uh, the criteria compare compare is similar to the MySQL uh, like, which is uh, compares the string like. Check that out. Uh, so, what we are doing here is we are passing items brand brand ID a string. Now, here this brand brand ID consists of the value that we passed. We can check that of course if we uh, right here this and and I and we refresh again. Oh that won't work. No, that's not possible because we won't give the grid view. Yeah, 
will check it out. So we are passing the UI to this parameter. Now we have to include, we have to join the table brand table to this search query. To do that, dollar criteria width the name of the relationship the relationship name is brand brand okay now now we have joined the brand table with the item table with the use of this relationship now what we have to do is we have to compare this is the string that we pass from the grid to not the brand's brand id column we want the name of the brands compare with the name of the brands brand the name of the relationship which will get the brands table full stop and brand name okay now what is this is doing this is the this contains the strings that is string that is being passed by here and it is being compared to the brand name in the brands table okay now let's check this out Uh, the criteria behaviors do not have a closure name width. Mm -hmm. Oops. Hold on for a sec. Okay. Okay, sorry. This is not a function actually. This is... Right. Okay. Okay, now. Now we will be able to search. create another item in a different with a different brand name to check okay the brand name is e created days today e. two lessons are coming up cost okay that okay let's get back to the grid view and we will give a search right there we go now we have now we can search with the name with the relationships on okay i think that covers today's lesson uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you understood it uh, if there's any questions please drop me a comment i will answer as soon as i can and uh, stay tuned for the next lesson please subscribe and thank you for watching have a good day bye